Alrighty, y'all, we have a Sergeant Antique deadbolt here that was brought in to get keys made for. Uh, it almost looks like a rim cylinder, but it's not. It's it's actually a deadbolt. So let's go ahead and get this guy unscrewed. I'm not going to refinish this. this. This is not my problem. Uh, they just want keys for it. They're not, they're not paying to get it refinished. They just want keys for it. So we're going to go ahead and just unscrew I hate it when a customer screws the screws all the way in. Now, one unique thing about this, obviously, it uses a very tiny hole. It uses a small hole. And uh, another unique thing is it's got, like, a totally square shaft. So uh, these guys, obviously, would be pretty difficult to just easily slip in a new lock uh, without redrilling it. But uh, this should just be a simple matter of shimming it and making a key it's stamped 861 this is the type of thing where somebody will post on reddit hey i need a deadbolt 861 where can i go buy it home depot doesn't have it <laughs> uh so let's go ahead and and if we look at it we don't see any clip or anything but we're decent with flathead screws so if you have no idea if you've never done something before obviously just look for whatever screws can come off so that is there and that's what we're going to go after first to more than likely take this off now uh this has obviously been here for a while let's just go ahead and hit it with lube just to be on the safe side because it can be one of those situations where it strips out and if it does strip out then you're really kind of up you know what creek so let's hope this Oh, it backs out pretty easily. Yay, no corrosion there. And uh, this is going to be a super long, maybe? Yep. Okay, so you can't run to the hardware store and replace that at all. So be very careful with that guy to not lose it. And then it's just going to be a simple matter of uh, let's lubricate it and cut a key, shim it. Shim it, shim it, shim it. We're going to go figure out what blank it is. Most of these are the S keyway. To me, it looks like S. It's either S or U, and to me, it looks like an S keyway. Let's get a little pretty, pretty prettier face there, Sergeant. All right, let's go over to the key blank wall. Go to the beginning of the world of Sergeant, which should be this S key right here. Let's check it out and see. Oh, there's something... Where, is, where are you, Key? There's some debris in that key. Yeah, no biggie. All right, I think the customer needs four. <laughs> customer wants another one, and again, that's one of those things where it's kind of a, a giggle. You're not getting another one of those unless you get real lucky at like a old house depot type place. Sergeant old pen, obviously. It's pretty easy to figure out. And we will go ahead and uh, just cut cut a random number. Let's see, what do y'all want to do? Five, three, two, five, one. it's not descending cut it really doesn't matter and the max on it's probably five or six uh, 20 mc whoops i used the i used the 14 mc but that's that's okay it's not that big of a deal it would be a much bigger deal if we were you know master keying a bunch of apartments that had a bunch of these or something like that but since this is just a a one-off then uh, no big deal all right, using a blank key, using my finger right there to go in and out. So we're going to go up to do some of these guys that haven't been used in a while are hard to shim. Okay, there goes five. Oh, oh, I can feel the separation somewhere in there. Okay, is that four? 
Yep, that was four. That was three. Two, 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 and one. Oh, you can usually get one just by pulling the key in and out a couple of times. I already forget what I, uh, I already forgot what I cut there. Four ninety-five work for it. Yep. Those look like fairly new pins. Somebody's been here recently. No wonder it came apart so well. Well, we're fixing that, aren't we? Ha <laughs> ha. Uh. Let's look in there. Yep, we're good. What do we, uh, what do you do? Five, three, six. I don't even know if it'll go by the sergeant. Let's see. Sergeant numbers are probably not going to work for it. So let's go old sergeant. Yeah, five, 219. I wonder if it'll work. Let's see. <sighs> yeah, well, it's a little high. Mm, we'll try it. Five. Where's that other old sergeant? Three. This is that sergeant sergeant area you never use. Yep, 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 yep. That is it. Five, three. What did I say? Six. Two thirty-four. Two thirty-four. It's a little high. These are all a little high, so I'm gonna turn around and stop right here. I don't know. I don't know why they're a little high other than you know, sometimes it sometimes locks are like that. Spacing looks decent enough down in there. We're just gonna knock it down a couple. So five and then three, two, three, go down to that, watch that. Yep, and then six to thirty-four, which would be two twenty-eight. Yep. Uh what is that? Five again, which was Two thirteen, two nineteen, technically, but two thirteen. Yeah, it's doing much better. And then four, two oh seven. So knock it down two to two oh one. Yeah, much better. Let's check these top pins because all the master locksmiths out there will, in YouTube land will flame me for not making sure there's no master pins in there. We'd hate to piss off the master locksmiths. Yep, 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 we're good, we're good. Springs seem good. You can typically tell that anyway from how the key functions in the lock, but whatever. Yay, now we just gotta copy it and put this guy back together. Which way did this go in? I went in that way. So we need to put this this way. Make sure that seats correctly. Okay, I'll make sure that seats correctly. Uh, am I putting it in wrong? Yeah, I am putting it in wrong. It goes this. It goes this way for sure. Whoops, my bad. Because this side's threaded, and this is the thread. Look at that screw. Oh, God. This is one of those things you run up in the field on, and the keys spinning around and around. And guess why? It's because of this. Probably this old little screw right here. Why aren't you going in? Go in. Otherwise, it's just a straightforward rekey. So, just wanted to really show off this part of it and find out why this is not going through. Something to do with the tailpiece, I can guarantee you. Let's pull this off and see. I guess I was just not lifting it up far enough. Let's lift it up. As, ah, there it goes. Yeah, you have to pull that way so it'll clear it. And let's get you in there. Maybe we lift that up again. Yeah, it definitely needs to be lifted while you're while you're screwing. There we go. Well, I hope this customer has success finding find an exact one of these because it's probably not going to happen but we're going to go make the rest of these copies of keys for them give it one more hose of houdini still haven't ordered my houdini i gotta get that order in and uh while it's here let's go even though there's no spring let's just give it a little a little soaky soak of stuff there and then uh lastly Gonna make some copies of keys. 
Yeah, totally almost. <laughs> yeah, that, I would have been like, where did this come from? That would have been, that would have been bad, Jason. He probably wouldn't have been real happy about that, would he? Okay, get back on. I would have seen it during edit and been like, oh, how come you're not going back on? Okay. Ah, wow, that was ticky. Ticky, ticky. This is probably, somebody might be asking what era this is from. I'm going to say the 40s. Probably, just based on knowing where this, where it probably came from. It came from a house from around here somewhere. Uh, I would say 30s or 40s would be my guess. All right, now, making the rest of the keys after a sip of coffee. So there we go, y'all. Just a simple rekey, even though it's an antique lock and you don't see them too often. Sergeant S keyway using the O1010 key blank or S4. Little bitty deadbolt. Uh, yeah, that's it. Just uh, just a pretty much a standard rekey, just older. Thanks for watching, y'all. If you have any questions, comments on this or any other videos, post them in the comment section. We'll catch y'all next video.